Hello everybody, this is King Hardback again. I will start out saying thank you for joining my channel. I know you black people out there, the sinners of slaves, we having a hard time, but we going forth. We moving in tangible voices, but we don't have tangible response necessarily. Okay, let's keep the ball bouncing. It's hard for us. We got people on our team and uh, people, the masses, and a lot of people not on our team that belong to us. That's not an easy thing. When you got your own family talking crazy and weird and in the matrix and blindfold and everything else in terms of what has come to a new age system, and we understand that. Basically, we took off where Dr. King left off. So if the baby boomers want to know something, usually that's what I tell them when they talk to me is that we basically taking up where Dr. King left off. And they deflect on that as well, a lot of them, because they don't want to re necessarily reflect being indifferent and they think they have become normal and bought into social illusion. But on the same token, they know they have it. They got talking points which need to serve us in terms of what we're experiencing. And then they also have talking points that say that we shouldn't be doing what we're doing. And, and, and that means standing because we don't want to make too much noise or we don't want to become um, uh, 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 in, oh, eye opening because it may hurt. Some people are actually hurt by the fact that we are in this predicament politically and that we've had an experience as a people at large that has been a terrible and heinous, uh, unimaginable system. And that was chattel slavery, which lasted for a long time, which was the very um, power source that built this great nation and that gave it its wealth. But we don't experience that. We don't share that at large. A lot of us can be rich, but not wealthy as a community. That was blatantly taken away. Black Wall Street was born from the air. And then also, what's, what's really interesting is that we pulled ourselves up by our bootstraps when we shouldn't have had to do that. These other groups, you know, and, and this is really an amazing and interesting uh, exchange. Whereas though we know that other groups especially white people, were basically served by the United States government by packages and deals and, you know, protections, protect the class. Well, they don't have money to run their farms anymore. Uh, they don't have the wealth. The slaves are gone. So they got, you know, reparations or different little things uh, and packages and tangibles to support the lifestyle which the United States offer and which the United States demonstrate, and that's the American dream for hundreds of years. And what's interesting is that it may have went on hundreds of years ago, but actually right now it's still in effect. However, it's in effect for not only white supremacy, but other groups at large that come here partnering with the idea of what this system has done to slave descendants and to make my people the blood that run through my veins. As my experience is demised of some sort. However, I have a revolutionary mindset, so that takes me out of slavery on some form. But at large, the system have me and my group pinned, pinned to a subservient and to a a, a basic way and, and an unfortunate way, and that's industrial, business, um, and slavery, still in slavery, industrial slavery, business and political slavery because our politicians are slaves. And in which I can explain that, which they serve other groups because they have a job to protect. They're not able to practice self-preservation. And well, they're not supposed to, they're told they can't. But that's the first rule of law, first of all. So they should be able to do that. And now we're saying, no, this is something that you have to do. You have to be adjacent to power. You have to be proximity to power. Power, respect, power. You don't sit next to something that you can't move adjacent to. There was like a two tires on a car. They go forward, the car go down the street. If one tire's going backwards and the other's going forward, all you're going to get is spinning wheels and something's going to be damaged. That's what we're doing 
as a group. We're going in two different directions, which is against us, definitely against us, which is unorthodox, dysfunctional, very dysfunctional. And we as a group need to see that, and, and we're so delusional. And as Dr. Claude Anderson said, a lot of the boomers bought into a social illusion. So in terms of them doing that, we lock, got locked out of opportunity, so we exploit it. And our children are following every narrative, every making up narrative, um, just whatever is in danger, and privacy leads to crime, it's all in squalor in terms of the masses of our community. Uh, then we have overskilled black people that are icons or people who are, have good job and we don't associate as a community because we have become disdain with each other from the teachings of a power source that choose and aim to divide that which they have called lower people or non-people or slaves, bottom feeders, something they can benefit from. This is not necessarily feel slavery. This is something different, as Yvette Cornell said. It's something very different, but it's still a form, and a big form of slavery. You're serving, you are allowed to go to do a job, but you can't partner in terms of business. You're not protected in terms of uh, politics, where the country at large understands that you are a group that uh, basically is not meant to be harmed and to be able to thrive and live according to what happened to you. This is what the country does. So, interestingly, we didn't come from Germany as a Holocaust or any other way. We built this country where everybody benefited from and still we're the only group that hasn't been politically corrected and still in litigation with our great nation. And anybody who partners with this nation and come here to live, uh, you're responsible to the debt as well, and that is reparations. But thank you for joining me. I will be back to talk to you. Thank you.